Series this weekend. Games that will start later on this afternoon. Northeastern is at Hofstra, Towson at Monmouth, Stony Brook at William and Mary, Delaware at Campbell, and North Carolina ENT is at Charleston. Co-players of the week this past week: Grant Nip from Campbell and Michael Logan, the outfielder from North Carolina ENT. And the pitcher of the week: Jake Brick, right-handed pitcher from Charleston. Rookie of the week: Josiah Seguin. Shortstop from William and Mary. Tim Kennedy, a UNCW alum and your friendly broker since 1994, providing residential appraisals since 1997. Give him a call at 910-799-1068 or visit KennedyRES.com. Well, these teams have some history. 43 and 36, UNCW's record all time against Elon. And uh, since Elon joined the conference, Back in 2015, the Seahawks have the edge there slightly, though, 13 to 12. So very evenly matched opponents here. And, and you know, for both of them, probably a, a you know a, a tougher start maybe to conference play than they wanted to have to, to face these two. And, and, you know, the winner of this series, an early leg up in conference play. Yeah, and you watch R.J. Sales there warming up. Uh, key thing to watch for him today, I mean, when he's been good, he gets ahead of the hitters and he gets into a groove. The last game he pitched at home here against St. Joseph's is funny because, I mean, he had a no decision, went seven innings, two hits, two runs. And I remember during the broadcast we were saying just was off a little bit, but still with that kind of line, even Randy Hood when he came up said, yeah, R.J. didn't have his best stuff, and I'm looking at this line. I'm like, anybody would take that. But, yeah, he's got to get ahead of hitters, and uh, if he's doing that, then uh, the Seahawks will feel good about it today. Yeah, not that kind of a line last week. Just an inning and a third. His shortest outing of his career gave up nine runs, all earned on seven hits, three strikeouts, three walks, only 62 pitches. So certainly trying to turn the page, leave that game behind, and get ready for this one. Kenny Mallory, Jr., first man up from the left side against the right-handed pitcher in R.J. Sales. Takes a breath into his motion and the pitch. Fly ball toward left coming in and a line shot over there caught by Newton in left field. And there's one away on one pitch. That's the way to start it, yeah. They're going to swing like that. Charlie Granitel, the right fielder. Junior out of Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. Comes in batting 366 on the season. Sales, first pitch inside corner for a strike with a fastball. Granitel, tie with a team lead with Mallory with 30 hits. That's good for eighth in the conference. Also second in doubles with 11. Missing away with a fastball. One ball, one strike to count. One out and nobody on just underway top of the first inning. Sales looks at the wristband, getting the signs from Brian Art, the catcher. And the pitch here, low it away, two and one. Went off speed, trying to get Granitel to chase. Slight shift in the infield to the left side. Kroom close to the line as this is top foul, two and two. You got Jones, a shortstop, a little bit shaded toward third base as well. Slight breeze left to right here. And Overcast, lights already on. Some fans here to take in the action. Sales, the kick and the pitch. High and away, three balls, one strike, the count. was motion quickly the three two ground ball down the line at third but foul it'll hold three and two you know the pitch clock has spent up the game but it, it has created partly good rhythm for some of these pitchers especially if they're pitching well we saw that from Jacob Schaefer last Saturday at Charlotte three two that stayed high and a walk to Granitel with one out, top of the first inning. Hey, you mentioned the pitch clock. It's always interesting, too, because all these umpires are a little different the way they, uh, they'll they start it. 
Some guys started at a different time than some of the other guys will. Ryan Sprock, the designated hitter, preseason honorable mention all CAA pick. Sails from the stretch to the plates. Fastball at the knees for strike one taken by Sprock. 358 average for Sprock. The sophomore from Morristown, New Jersey. Slight lead at first base for Granitel. And the pitch. Just low it away. One ball, one strike to count. Three home runs, 24 driven in for Sprock, the team leader. Tied for fifth most in the conference. Sales again catches the outside corner for strike two, one and two. UNCW goes from a team in North Carolina that's among the country's best in stolen bases. They had 40 going into the game on Tuesday. Elon only seven stolen bases here this season. Again, a slight lead over there at first base for Granitel. Chop ball foul. No balls, two strikes, still the count. Granitel has one of those seven. He's one for three on the bases this season. Sales. And the pitch outside. Two balls, two strikes. One out, one on. Big hole on the right side, holding the runner on. And the pitch, low it away. Three and two. Trying to get the swing and miss from Sprock. Sails the pitch. Pops it away, foul. It'll hold the three balls and two strikes. UNCW picked second preseason behind Northeastern. Elon picked fifth. The coaches voting on that. 3 2. And stays alive, fouls off another pitch. Eight pitch at bat here for Ryan Sprock, third man up. Three, two, again, chops it left side, fielded by uh, Kroon, the second for the first, first for the second. Nice stretch for Thatch. Around the horn, double play will end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. After a half inning of baseball, it's uh, scoreless here at Brooksfield. The Seahawks coming up to bat when we return. UNCW Baseball, Flow Sports, and 95.9 The Breeze. Experience what coastal living is all about in a Carolina skiff from Marine Warehouse. The high output, lightweight Suzuki outboards are the perfect match. From fishing to cruising in four inches of water to 4,000 feet, Carolina skiff boats are at home everywhere, especially when paired with the reliable, powerful Suzuki four-stroke outboard. As things are taking longer to get, order your Carolina skiff and Suzuki outboard today. Visit Marine Warehouse Center on Market Street or marinewarehousecenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalop. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. No score. Bottom of the first coming up here at Brooksfield. UNCW turning their 13th double play to end the top half of the inning. Hampton in starting lineups. The batting order for UNCW, John Newton, followed 
by Trevor Marsh and Alec DiMartino. Middle three in the lineup, Tanner Thatch, Brian Art, Jack Crew. In the bottom three, Kevin Jones, Kevin Novobilski, the designated hitter today, and Jason Art. Defensively for Elon, Kenny Mallory Jr. in left field, Vince Pretori is in center, Charlie Granitale in right field. Connor Offshack at third base, James Broderick the shortstop. Justin Sestowicki is at second, Shane at Paradine, the first baseman, Alex Duffy catching, and Justin Mitrovich, the sophomore right-handed pitcher on the mound. Two and one, a 2.08 ERA. 43 strikeouts, 11 walks, again the 43 strikeouts tops in the conference. Good defense there by UNCW. 17 pitch first inning for RJ Sales. Worked around that walk. You mentioned Mitrovic and his uh, strikeouts. That, of course, has been a problem for UNCW in a lot of games this year. A lot of strikeouts, so it'll be interesting to see how they attack him today. Yeah, UNCW averages over 10 strikeouts a game. Something that every time we talk to Randy Hood, he brings it up. You don't want to bring it up too much with your players, obviously. But And that was one thing. Only seven strikeouts Saturday at Charlotte. They were more selective with their pitches. And we'll see if that carries over to this weekend. John Newton leads off the left fielder. Preseason honorable mention all-conference. First pitch, ground ball up the middle, off the mound, and gets through. So... The first pitch to Elon was an out to left. The first pitch to UNCW, a single to center. And the Seahawks have a base runner. That is very selective hitting right there. He got the pitch he wanted, and he uh, took it into center field. Great start for the Seahawks. 94-mile-an-hour fastball that was down in the zone and able to drive it up the middle for John Newton. Trevor Marsh now, no score, bottom of the first. UNCW, 21 stolen bases as a team. Newton has three of those. Shift is on. Three infielders to the right side of the infield. Only Offshack, the third baseman, at his normal positioning. So big gap between Offshack and the shortstop, Broderick, who's on the right side of second in the first pitch off speed for a strike, or for a ball, excuse me, one ball and no strikes. Here to Trevor Marsh, redshirt senior. And the pitch. Drops it in for strike one. One ball, one strike to count. They move off Shack further away from the line at third base. Breaking ball swung on a missed. One and two. He has stayed with an off speed pitch to Trevor Marsh. This pitch fouled off left side and out of play. Yeah, it's obvious that's what they want to do against him because that's all he's throwing them so far. Mitrovic set, stops at the belt. The kick in the pitch way high with a fastball that time. Two balls, two strikes to Marsh out of Asheboro, North Carolina. Two-two pitch, fly ball center, moving back to his left. Fatori, and will make the catch over his head to retire. Marsh went back to the off-speed pitch and got the out for Marsh. One away. Alec DiMartino, the right fielder. Two ninety-four average for DiMartino, redshirt sophomore, out of Raleigh. No score, bottom of the first inning. First pitch high. One ball and no strikes. Today's lineup, the 20th different lineup in 22 games for UNCW this season. is really atypical for the Seahawks that they want to find a lineup, they want to stay with it typically as this pitch is fouled off one and one. The eighth spot where Kevin Novobilski is today as a designated hitter, 
There's been eight different players in that spot throughout this season. Somebody's got a chance to take control of it if they can just, uh, yeah, got to start hitting. Second base, one of those interchangeable positions today is Jason Art making his ninth start at second base. Inside, two and one the count. Newton with the leadoff single up the middle. Marsh flied out to center, and now it's DiMartino. Two and one the count. Mitrovic to the plate. Drops in the breaking ball, two and two. He looks at his wristband to get the signs. 2-2 offering outside. Couldn't get the chase from DiMartino. And the count runs full. Be interesting to see what they do with Newton here. Now DiMartino has struck out a lot, 32 times. So. Throw to first base. St. Pedro, you trying to keep Newton close over there. Thatch on deck for UNCW. Mitrovic, check swing. Oh, did not swing. <laughs> a little pause there for DiMartino, and it's called ball four. Well, he just missed. Matthews Motors walk, the walking man and woman's friend will put runners at first and second base now for UNCW. Watch out. I know uh, Alex Riley's probably watching and listening, so do, do him some good here, Mike. Thatch, the home run leader for UNCW, second of the conference with 10. One out, two on, bottom of the first inning. First pitch, fastball away. 3.08 average as well for Thatch, 29 RBIs. one -oh pitch, swing and a miss. Preseason All-CAA Thatch, sophomore from Belvedere, North Carolina. 1-1. One, one. Fouls it off. 1-2. and two. They have Nick Duffy, the home plate umpire with, or home plate, uh, or the catcher, I should say, for, for Elon with that backswing, big backswing for Thatch. One two pitch. Ground ball foul. So again, 10 home runs this season, 25 career home runs, 97 career RBIs as well. One two. High and away. He hasn't been able to be consistent with a fastball. Maybe why you're seeing more. Breaking balls change up here from Mitrovic. Two balls, two strikes, one out, two runners on. And the pitch. Deep fly ball, but it's going to go foul. Got ahead of that one. Count will stay, two balls, two strikes. 350 feet plus the distance on the foul ball by Thatch. Two, two once again, swung on and missed the strikeout for Thatch, second out of the inning. Doing what a lot of teams have done this year, try to jam him. So he can't extend his arms and that time was effective. Got him with the strikeout. Brian Art with two outs, two runners on, scoreless game, bottom of the first inning. All right, the catcher from Holly Springs, North Carolina. He has Newton at second base, DiMartino at first. First pitch, pops it out of play. Mitrovich, sophomore from Yardley, Pennsylvania, 37 minutes northeast of Philadelphia. Got the 
like Zach Milage. I do. <laughs> In there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Folks, just send us, uh, if you have a couple of cities, Michael will give you the exact number. <laughs> it's unbelievable. 37 minutes. 0 2 pitch outside, 1 and 2. I saw one of the notable <laughs> folks from Yardley was the, the costume designer, I think, of Beetlejuice. Which is making a comeback, really? a, a new Beetlejuice. Did you gotcha. see the, the new trailer? that just? No, I have not okay. seen that. Mitrovic, the one-two. And it's going to be lined to left center field. Newton will touch third and come home. The throw will go to second. It's an RBI single off the bat of Brian Arndt and the Seahawks on the board first here in the bottom of the first inning. Hitting streak up to uh, eight games now for Arndt. And, uh, boy, that was just solid as you watch the replay here. No doubt on that one. And, of course, no doubt Newton was coming home. So, good start for UNCW. Two outs moving on contact. So, not just Arndt scoring, but DiMartino getting to third. A run on a couple of hits in the inning. Started by the Newton single up the middle. Jack Kroom, redshirt senior from Wilmington, swing and a miss. 197th game played for Kroom, and he's two hits shy of 200 for his career now. Runners on the corners with two outs. And he'll be one hit shy of 200 as that one is hit to right field. Another run will score. Art advances to third. 2 nothing UNCW. Let's keep the hitting streaks going. That's six, <laughs> six games in a row now for Kroom. Two out, big time RBI base hits here for UNCW. Two nothing our score. And the shortstop Kevin Jones trying to keep things going. Junior batting 200 on the season. First pitch, catches the outside corner with a fastball. To the right handed hitting Jones from Rollsville, North Carolina. How many minutes is that from Raleigh? Not far. <laughs> but I can tell you. All right. I just thought I thought maybe you'd know that offhand. Low and a stolen base for Kroom. No throw. One ball, one strike to count with a runner at third base. They didn't want to throw that one through. So two in scoring position. Now for Jones, one ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. 29 minutes. Roseville. To Raleigh. Roseville is northeast of Raleigh. You must, take US 401 <laughs> south in, in case you're wondering you must if you're going he's got to Raleigh. For this. He's got to. I mean, geez. That's in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two in scoring position. 30 pitches already for Mitrovic. This is not the way they wanted him to start today. So long. At bats for UNCW, swing and a miss. We'll end this one with a strikeout of Jones. But for UNCW, two runs, three hits, no errors, two runners left on base. 2 nothing. UNCW leads it after one inning of baseball here in the CAA lid lifter for UNCW and Elon. Back after this on Flow Sports and 95.9, The Breeze. There is something indescribably special about it. Swing and a miss. 93 mile an hour fastball. I talked to Kelly Seacrest prior to the game, and he was just talking about, you know, RJ Sales and hitting his spots and keeping the ball down. It didn't happen Friday. Saturday, I saw Kelly Seacrest. I said, I'm not talking to you anymore. He's like, uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept walking past him. 0 2 pitch. Hit foul and out of play. Nothing to do to Paradine. It's something that you're seeing more often. He transferred within the league from Stony Brook to Elon. A senior from uh, Bayonne, New Jersey. To the plate, chop ball up the middle. The shortstop waits. Good hop for Jones over to first base. And there's an out here in this Top of the second, 2-0 UNCW. 
Nice job by the shortstop Jones there. Sometimes some of those guys might try to go up quick and try to get that. He timed it perfectly. He knew he'd get the second hop. Connor Offshack, the third baseman. Another senior on this team. The home run leader with four home runs this year, 21 RBIs. Go along with a 268 batting average. First pitch low. All right, I got his his walk-up song at Elon. It's got to be B-52. It's got to be, right? <laughs> Probably has no idea who they are. 1-0. Fly ball to right. Going to his left is DiMartino. And in fair territory, we'll make the catch for out number two. We're talking about Love Shack, right? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, he could yeah. come up with his own variety. I'm sure if we asked him about it, he'd go the who. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, they hit song for the 80s. Oh, yeah, the the win? <laughs> <laughs> Two outs, nobody on top of the second. 2 nothing. UNCW here at home against Elon. Says the wiki, sophomore second baseman. Swing and a miss. 94-mile-an-hour fastball away. Another transfer from North Carolina is Says the wiki. Out of Mount Royal, New Jersey. 0-1 pitch, low fastball, 1-1. Mike Kennedy, longtime head coach, has done a great job uh, cultivating talent from the state of New Jersey. Kennedy, 28th year now, 845 wins for the former Elon catcher. Came inside, and it's popped up right side. DiMartino, he's not sure, now he finds it. Among the clouds high above, it makes a catch in foul territory to end the inning. A 1-2-3 inning here for R.J. Sales in the second. 2-0 UNCW, bottom of the second next. Uh, Flow Sports at 95.9, the breeze. There is something indescribably special about this place. The way it looks, the way it feels, the way we care for one another and our community. The University of North Carolina Wilmington is like no other. Your journey starts here. We invite you to discover what makes UNCW like no other. This is where everything starts. It's a place of new beginnings, new opportunities, and a new identity. We are the Coastal Athletic Association, and from the beaches to the city streets, we are united to succeed at an elite level in competition, in our communities, in our lives. This is the tide that lifts us, the fire that burns inside all of us. This is our moment, our new chapter. We are the CAA, and we are united in excellence. Take a look at what's ahead for UNCW, the weekend series against Elon. And they're on the road, the Seahawks are, Tuesday at North Carolina and next weekend back in conference play, but back on the road as well against North Carolina a and We'll have those games for you on uh, Flow Sports at home and on the road on uh, 95.9 The Breeze. Plenty of ways to follow UNCW baseball this season. Kevin Novobilski. Designated hitter today, takes the first pitch outside. Richard Sophomore from Ocean Township, New Jersey. But more than an hour away from Philadelphia, in case you're wondering, Jim. <laughs> I certainly was. Thank you. <laughs> Breaking ball for a strike. One ball, one strike. Every year when I work with Mike, there's something new, and this is it this year. He's going to give uh, times and directions. <laughs> you want to know where people no, are I, from. I appreciate it. Philly is one of those kind of northeastern places. You, you know, everything's around that. As this pitch is fouled away, like, you know, again, everyone from Massachusetts is just outside of Boston, right? That is We've correct. We've talked about this before. That is correct. You included. Yes. Just outside. Ocean Township on the Jersey Shore, close to Monmouth, Monmouth County, as this pitch is fouled away. One ball, two strikes, Novobilski at 158 average. No home runs, three RBIs. 13th start for him, or excuse me, 13th game, 6th start of the season. 1-2 low. Nice job by Duffy blocking up that pitch. No 
Novobilski in for the left side. Two balls, two strikes. Leading off this second inning. Breaking ball drops it in. Nicely done by Mitrovic. Already his third strikeout. He has struck out uh, two in the first. Now the first one here in the second. Off-speed uh, stuff is what's working for him right now. It looks like with the fastball, he's struggling to control it, but the off-speed uh, stuff looks really good. Jason Art. Starting second baseman here for UNCW. Ninth star at second. Looks to bunt, and he pops it up into the grandstand. Nothing in one. With the red shirt senior. Fouled off right side, no balls, two strikes. I know you've talked about his singing career and his uh, new song, Over Yonder, which is out now, released this month. It's available on Spotify. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't walk up to that. Uh, but I, I had probably, he probably didn't want to hear himself as he walks but up. You, but you've got to promote yeah, that. Yeah, right? no, I agree. Swing and a miss, 93-mile-an-hour fastball. Able to locate there high in the zone to strike out Arndt. Two away here in the second. 2 nothing UNCW. Top of the lineup, John Newton back up. Yeah, this is the kind of guy, Mitrovic, you know, it's good to see how he's got the two runs early because he's the type of pitcher, once he gets in a groove, he could, he could start rolling. Newton singled up the middle, scored the first run of the game. It's, again, 2 nothing UNCW. Goes back. The breaking ball swung through it to Newton. Nothing in one. Mitrovic, his dad, track and field athlete at Villanova. 0-1 pitch. Low. His event, the javelin. So his son instead throwing darts out here. Yeah, that's, a, oh, that's a tough sport, especially guys has got to catch that. <laughs> Right back to Mitrovic. <laughs> you got me. Or to first base. <laughs> uh, three up, three down for the Seahawks in the second. Two nothing through two. Back after this on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Josh Barber here for Capital Ford Lincoln of Wilmington and proud UNCW graduate. At Capital, we want to service all your automotive needs now with two full-service Wilmington locations, Ford on Oleander Drive and Lincoln on Market Street. We have you covered with new and pre-owned sales, vehicle maintenance and repair, mobile service, parts, and even collision repair. So come see us on Oleander Drive or Market Street for the largest selection of new Fords and Lincolns in eastern North Carolina. Or check us out online at capitalfordofwilmington.com. And remember, go Seahawks. At Pawn USA, we buy, sell, trade, and loan money on almost anything. Buying? Come check out our amazing inventory at our five convenient locations. Selling? We can give you cash or a loan for your items on the spot. Find the Pawn USA nearest you in Wallace, Shalotte, Leland, and in Wilmington, and we'll work with you for an enjoyable and beneficial experience. Ask about our free layaway plan and check us out at pawnusa.net and on eBay. There's always a new find at Pawn USA. Early start with the uh, wet weather expected. Still fans coming out, taking this game. 2 nothing UNCW, two runs, three hits for the Seahawks. That was in the first inning. We're in the top of the third now. Alex Duffy, James Broderick, and Vince Vittori to face R.J. Sales. Better start here. He's seen the minimum. Did want Granitel, but got the double play to end the first. UNCW pitching this season, they've done well. They've allowed a little bit more than eight hits per nine innings, 31st best in the country. A lot of it starts with this man, R.J. Sales. Alex Duffy, the catcher. First pitch taken for strike one. A fastball to the junior out of Bernardsville, New Jersey. 0-1. Swing and a miss. A fastball. Looks at that wristband, toes of rubber on the first base side, the 0-2 offering. Too much inside, one and two. Oh. 
fly ball left, but it's going to go foul. Elon founded in 1889, Jim, and for them the first year of baseball wasn't until 1900. I remember it well. A lot, a lot of baseball. I was there for the first game. Covered that one. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Had my tablet. <laughs> one, two, breaking ball stays high and away. And it was a real tablet. <laughs> Stone tablet. And former fighting Christians, now Phoenix. Two, two, chops it to the right side and foul. He'll hold the two balls, two strikes to Duffy. 258 hitter, two home runs, nine RBIs this season. Sales with a 2 2. Missed inside and a full count. Nine pitch second inning for RJ Sales. Right now, this is a seven pitch at bat to Alex Duffy. Payoff pitch, swung on and missed. Fastball away, gets him. First strikeout for Sales here in the third. Third batter he's already gone to a full count on, but yeah, effectively got him, so a good start there. Yeah, Granite's on the walk. Sprock hitting to the double play on a 3-2 pitch. One out, nobody on. James Broderick, the shortstop. Grab up the middle, past the glove of Sales, diving, smothered by Jones, but he will not be able to make a play. And Elon gets their first hit here in the third. Kevin Jones doing everything he can just to keep that in the infield. Almost would have been interesting if he was able, as you watch the replay here, got in front of it, moved quickly. That's a tough play, but still solid. Vince Vittori, the center fielder. 2 nothing UNCW, top of the third, one out, one on. Sales and the pitch foul back. Vittori. Freshman from Plymouth Meeting, Pennsylvania. Transfer from Duke. Oh, one. Drops it in for a strike taken. No balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Sales back to the fastball, 94 mile an hour fastball. Two outs, one on at first base, two nothing UNCW. So the first time through the lineup, a walk, a hit, and two strikeouts here for RJ Sales. Mallory Jr. 0 for 1, fly out to left in the first inning. This is going to be a fly ball to left center and get down. Second hit of the inning for Elon. It extends his third inning. And will bring Charlie Granitel to the plate. Second time he's got after the first pitch. Yeah, Kenny Mallory Jr. has seen two pitches. He's one for two. Granitel with a walk in the first. Sales ties the right cleat once again. Tugs on the cap, takes a look at the wristband, and toes the rubber. Two outs with two on. High and inside, one ball and no strikes to Granitel. Tying runs aboard, the go-ahead run. And Charlie Granitel. 
Breaking ball elevated, two balls, no strikes. Can't get the good grip he wants, goes to the rosin bag. Two zero, -oh. back to the fastball. That's fouled away to the right side. Two and one. And yeah, the pitch. Ooh, doesn't get the call there. The fastball. <laughs> He's a little surprised. Three and one now the count. <laughs> Sales with a pitch. It's line out of the reach of Arndt, uh, second baseman in the right center field. That'll score at least one. The throw goes to second. It'll be a double for Granitel, his team leading 12th of the season. And the Seahawks up now just two to one. Well, Jason Arndt did everything he could as you watch on the replay, but he comes awfully close to getting this one. See the run scoring. So he gives up. Sales does the first hit in this inning. Now the first run. Last two hits coming with two outs. This first pitch high to Sprock, who hit into the inning ending double play in the first inning. One run, three hits so far for Elon. That'll bring uh, Brian Art out to talk with RJ Sales. So Sales visibly upset a little bit that he didn't get that strike call for a second strike on Granitel. Instead, the count went to 3-1, and then he gave up the double. So Art trying to settle him down. Kelly Seacrest, the pitching coach, out quickly to settle him down as well. Yeah, good idea. Go out talk to him. I mean, he had a two-run lead. Now it's 2-1, to one, but you can still get out of this inning with the lead. Strand these two guys at second and third. Just trying to keep it light out there. Richard Riley breaks up the meeting. Again, one run, three hits this inning for Elon. Two in scoring position. Kenny Mallory Jr. at third base. Granitel at second base. A ball and no strikes to Ryan Sprock. UNCW leads two to one. Sales to the plate. Drops it in for a strike. One ball, one strike to count to Sprock. One, one at the knees. It's now one and two. Sales with a pitch, chopped up the middle. Charging on it is going to be Jones picking and throwing to first base. Nice job by the shortstop, Kevin Jones, to end the inning. For the Phoenix, a run on three hits, no errors, two runners left on base, both in the scoring position for Elon. Bottom of third coming up, UNCW leads 2-1 to one here on Flow Sports and 95.9 The Breeze. Football there, football there. Football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref. Let the boys play. Today is your day. It's time to stop wishing for it and start working towards it. One day at a time. One workout at a time. Your best is not behind you. 
Look forward. Two to one ball game. UNCW leads it. Bottom of the third coming up. See Justin Mitrovic kept the two runs on three hits in the first, but set the Seahawks down in order in the second. At one point, he retired three straight with strikeouts. He's got four strikeouts, one walk so far. Trevor Marsh leads off for UNCW, the center fielder. Shift is on, third baseman in as the fastball is fouled back. Off Shack, third baseman off the line. About midway between third base and second base. Everybody else is to the right side of second base in the infield. Breaking ball, it's sent to right center field, and that'll get down all the way back to the wall. And extra bases, a stand-up double for Trevor Marsh. Good start to the inning there for UNCW. Trevor Marsh, center fielder Fattori. No chance at that. Had to get back there to the 380 side to get it. Twenty-seventh hit for Marsh to lead UNCW. And is his fifth double. Ties him with DiMartino. Who's at the plate now? Alex DiMartino. A walk and a run scored in the first. Takes the first pitch low. Two to one, UNCW, bottom of the third inning. Breaking ball stays inside. Two and oh to DiMartino. Mitrovic, pitch is a uh, line down the left field line, drops in, it's a fair ball. Back to the fence, Marsh will score easily in a stand-up double for DiMartino. Well, that's the way to respond after you give up a run in the top of the third, already get one back and hopefully can add some more. As you watch the replay on this one, no doubt as soon as he hit it, that was going. It was just a matter of the fact if that was gonna stay fair and it easily did. Six double for DiMartino. Quick visit to the mound here, talking to Mitrovic along with Duffy, the catcher. Nobody out. Bottom of the third, Tanner Thatch. So trying to settle Mitrovic down and maybe talk a little strategy here. Of course, he's got to remind him who the batter is and say, hey, throw it inside again. Don't be giving him anything to hit over the plate. That struck out in the first inning. First pitch and is sent to left field. Not a whole lot of contact, but it works. As DiMartino will score from second on the single from Tanner Thatch. Well, weren't expecting that. As normally they would shift to the right on him, but there you go, that's a good sign for UNCW. And way to put up a two spot and more to come, hopefully with nobody out. Four to one UNCW, as Jim said, nobody out. Bottom of the third inning. Brian Art, RBI single in the first. This is a fly ball to left coming in. Kenny Mallory Jr. will Catch down off the shoe tops for the out. Boy, the very cloudy sky here, and I think some of the outfielders, we saw DiMartino maybe having a little trouble picking up that ball here. I think Kenny Mallory Jr., a little trouble early on to find that baseball up against the clouds in the sky. Yeah, low ceiling, that's going to make it difficult for them here for a while. Thatch at first base for Jack Kroom. One hit shy of 200. Mitrovic to the plate, first pitch. Breaking ball low, 
RBI single to right field. First time up for Jack Kroom. Shift is on to the right side. Swung on and missed. One and one. Offshank, the third baseman. Only one on the left side of the infield, and he's close to the line as well. Fouls it off, one and two. Four to one, four runs, six hits for UNCW just in the bottom of the third inning. Batch at first base, takes his lead. And the one-two pitch inside and almost hits him, twists away from it. Got away from Duffy, but not far. Two and two to Kroom. Elon's going to start warming up the bullpen. A right-hander just went down. He'll start throwing. Two-two pitch. Chops it right side, charging first baseman. We'll get to second. Paradine over to the shortstop, Rodericks, as they uh, will force Thatch at second base. Kroom is on with the fielder's choice. Well, you may go to your bullpen early, and, and you may catch a break both these teams if, they, if there is no game tomorrow, potentially two on Sunday. Again, it all depends on the rain, how much rain, and how the field responds to all the rain. As the first pitch to Jones is fouled off to the right side. So with that in the back of your mind, maybe as a coach you manage this game a little differently. Foul back, nothing in two. Two outs, Kroom at first base. Bottom of the third inning, it's 4-1 to one UNCW. Double, double, single to drive in two runs. Marsh, DiMartino, and Thatch. Swing and a foul tip into the mid of Duffy, able to hold on. Jones will strike out, and that'll do it for UNCW. But again, two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left on through three innings. Seahawks lead it 4-1 to one here in Wilmington. Back with the top of the fourth and Jim taking over when we get back here on Flow Sports at 95.9 The Breeze. Hey, grab me one too. People have trusted Reeves Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reeves Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. 4-1 to one UNCW through three innings of baseball. Mike McCarroll here alongside Jim Whitmire, and Jim's got the call for innings four, five, and six. All right, Mike, thanks. Welcome back, everybody. RJ Sales back out on the mound. He'll face Paradine, Offshack, and Sestawicki for Elon. Shout out our crew today, always out here doing a great job. Riley's our executive producer, director. Richard on graphics. He's, uh, of course, listening to Taylor or Swift in his headphones. Zach on replay. Ryan Cole and Mason on camera today. Appreciate their hard work. Yeah, it's, it's a little chilly out there, too. So those, those on the camera earning their pay today. Paradigm grounded out to short his first time. First pitch, grounder, left side. That'll get through for a base hit to left field. So Elon's bats have come alive in the last inning and now here. The leadoff uh, runner is on. That'll bring up Connor Offshack. Flew out to right his first time. Again, as Mike mentioned earlier, Elon, not a team to expect to run here. Seven stolen bases so far this year.
Sales set. Here's the pitch. Missed outside. The count 1-0. Oh. It's just an honor to be back with Mike. And uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I know you've been missing him for a year. Fun facts will continue soon. Soon to have his own podcast with that. Well, you already have one. Might as well do another <laughs> right, one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Fun facts. One and oh. Oh, another, high pitch strike. Another podcast that nobody watches, you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There it is. It's going to be home. Good to be I, home. I heard Mike talking about that, saying, you know, surely I had my, or Carolina, I had my own uh, press box. Grounder, Jones, well, not able to make the play, and that'll be through, and it's first and second. Yeah, I think even if he gets that cleanly, he had to go to his right and make the diving play. It's probably going to be a base hit either way. But Elon's been aggressive here. You mentioned, you know, the leadoff hit for uh, Paradine on the first pitch. He had that three times now on base hits against Sales. So they're jumping on that first pitch early on and having some success now last inning and here in the fourth. Well, after the Seahawks put two up to go back up four to one, Elon now first and second, nobody out here in the top of the fourth inning. Here's Sestawicki. He fouls that one off, and the count is 0-1. Yeah, maybe seeing something with Sales trying to get ahead with a fastball, and they're, and they're starting to make some solid contact. That one's low, one and one to count. And Richard Riley, our home plate umpire today, making the calls, balls and strikes. Not much of a breeze blowing towards right field today. As Mike said, overcast skies, rain expected later. Inside, I got the corner, one and two. Alex Duffy, the catcher, is on deck for the Phoenix. One ball, two strikes. Sale set. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. One away. Strikeout number three for RJ and Alex Duffy, who is one of those three strikeouts. We'll come to bat. Strikeouts on the elevated fastballs. 93 94. That time, 93. And has confidence in that pitch right now and getting the swings and misses from Elon. Paradine at first, off Shack at, uh, I mean, Paradine at second, off Shack at first. This ball hit to left field, and that will fall. Fair ball. Newton will pick it up. That'll score one run. Runners will get to second and third. And the Phoenix get their second run on the board. It's 4-2. to two. Yeah, you were waiting and waiting and waiting. You're right. You weren't sure if there was going to be fair or foul. We'll get a look at the replay and, just fair, long run for Newton. Couldn't get there in time, but he got it in quickly. The uh, trail runner off Shack able to keep him to third on that, or else he get two on the double. Instead, it's a one run in, a 4-2 ball game. It's James Broadway comes up. He uh, had a single, scored a run his first time up, 4-2. to two. Tying runs in scoring position now. Broderick hitting 268 on the year. The pitch fouls it off. Count nothing and one. Jack Kroon plays in tight right at the grass. Runner on third is off Shaq, and now Duffy stands at second. That ball is grounded, or actually it's a line drive. Boy, that looked weird coming off. Well, look at that at track, man. That ball was well below in the zone, so he had to go down and really golf it <laughs> to get it on the line to Arnt at second base. Well, two away. That held the runners. Now everybody on uh, defense can play back in their normal spots. Here's for Torrey. Struck out his first time. Sales tries to get out of this, only giving up the one. Missed outside, 1-0. Top of the lineup, Mallory Jr. would be next if Elon could keep it going. 4-2, to two, we're in the top of the fourth inning. UNCW on top. Sales set, here's the pitch. That's high and outside, 2-0. and oh. Runners take their leads from second and third. Sales ready. Here's a pitch. High again. Three and O. Oh. One 
One walk so far from R.J. Sales. Fattori should be taking here, you would think, at 3-0. and oh. Two outs. He is 3-1. and one. Oh, well, <laughs> he started to uh, walk. Sale set. Here's a pitch. That missed ball. Four bases are loaded. Bases loaded. Kenny Mallory Jr. Hyper aggressive here. Again, he's only seen two pitches. Flying out to left, singled to left center last time up. So with that on your mind, I'd try to keep something down, get it on the ground, and maybe get out of this inning. 425 the average now for Mallory Jr. Let's see. Third time, does he swing at the first pitch? No, not this time. Takes a ball. Bases loaded for Elon. Two outs. We're in the top of the fourth. It's 4-2 to two UNCW. Sales now is four straight to five straight balls. That is, well, high, 2-0. Oh. He'll take a little walk off the mound now. Gee, Mallory's batting 833 with the bases loaded. Is that good, Mike? That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. Bases loaded here, 2-0 count. Well, he's lost his own. It's 3-0. Seahawks now are going to get somebody up. Yeah. Well, as well as he hits the ball with the bases loaded, you would think maybe they give him the green light here at 3-0 if he sees something he likes. 3-0 pitch coming. No, he was taking 3-1. 69 pitches for R.J. Sales. Boy, if he could get, get out of this right now, this would be a huge uh, boost for him. Here's the pitch. Fouled it off. Full count. Yeah, this is one time where that pitch clock works against you. If your pitcher base is loaded in this situation, you want to try to slow things down, and you don't have that luxury to do it. You've got to figure it out quickly here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, top of the fourth. Four to two Seahawks. Elon has the bases loaded. The pitch. Inside, he got him. Umpire calls him strike three. Huge pitch from R.J. Sales to end the inning, but the Phoenix do score one. We go to the bottom of the fourth, 4-2 UNCW. Seahawk baseball on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs. Welcome back to uh, Brooks Field. Brunch at Brooks today, four to two. UNCW on top of Elon. We go to the bottom of the fourth. And uh, Mitrovich back out on the mound. He will face the bottom of the lineup for the Seahawks. Kevin Novobilski, Jason Arden on top of the order. John Newton. Jim Whitmire, the man they call Mr. Fun Facts. Mike Vaccaro with you. They do? That's, uh, yes. That's uh, two people I know call you that. Yeah, you <laughs> and, and you. Again, tomorrow, game scheduled at 4. Uh, keep an eye on social media, uncwsports.com. The, the forecast is for this rain to move in here this afternoon, pretty much be all night into tomorrow morning. Then it's supposed to get out of here. But as Mike said, it's just a matter of how much rain, what condition maybe the field is in before they decide if they go at the time they expect tomorrow or do something else. So right now showing a chance of range, I'm excusing, in the next hour here. So we'll see what happens. Novobilski struck out his first time. 
We start at the bottom of the fourth, and he puts this one in foul territory. And the count, nothing and one. Five strikeouts for Justin Mitrovich. Came in starting uh, 43 today. 0-1 pitch. Outside missed, 1-1. One one. Mr. Fun Facts, I've got one for you. Do you know 70% of Elon students come from outside of the state? How about uh, that? I, I, would, I would think that would be the case. Grounder. Oh, nice play by the third baseman. Off Shaq, he'll throw to first, and he makes the play. That almost got through. Nice shot by Offshack, an out-of-state uh, uh, student from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Building his position well. Yeah, I mean, again, you look at this lineup, and very few North Carolina guys uh, on the roster for Elon. They've done well, again, from New Jersey, a private school. So you get folks uh, to come down south. Enjoy the nice uh, North Carolina weather. Jason Arndt bounce to the shortstop. Broderick, long throw from the hole. He got him, two away. Nice job by Broderick. Reaching out was off. Shaq Det didn't uh, bother Broderick at all. Deep in the hole, as you said, but able to set his feet and have a good accurate throw to first base. And the Seahawks uh, two up and two down on, what, just four pitches so far in this fourth inning. And making it easy on Mitrovich. Here's John Newton. He's one for two. He scored a run last time up. Bounce back to the uh, pitcher. Two outs, bottom of the fourth. That's a strike. Nothing to one to count. 4 6 and 0 oh for the Seahawks. 2 6 and 0 oh for the Phoenix. The clouds are darkening up to our uh, left here. The pitch outside, 1 and 1. John Newton from Waxhaw, which is how many About miles? 25 right? miles outside of Charlotte. Thank so you very much. Had Appreciate a chance that. to get close to home this past <laughs> weekend. One and two inside that ball called a strike. <laughs> Mr. Map, his new designation. <laughs> One ball, two strikes, two outs. The pitch missed low, two and two. A lot of the conference action today was uh, forced to change. A lot of double headers today because of the expected rain. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Seahawks go down in order one, two, three. We go to the fifth inning. It is a four to two. UNCW on top. This is Seahawk baseball on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Josh Farber here for Capital Ford Lincoln of Wilmington and proud UNCW graduate. At Capital, we want to service all your automotive needs now with two full-service Wilmington locations, Ford on Oleander Drive and Lincoln on Market Street. We have you covered with new and pre-owned sales, vehicle maintenance and repair, mobile service, parts, and even collision repair. So come see us on Oleander Drive or Market Street for the largest selection of new Fords and Lincolns in eastern North Carolina. Or check us out online at CapitalFordOfWilmington.com. And remember, go Seahawks! The Ogden Tap Room opened its doors in the summer of 2013. The goal? Create a family-friendly restaurant and bar where the locals gather to eat, drink, and celebrate special occasions. Five years later, it's just that. We open daily for lunch and dinner, and the bar is well known for its state-of-the-art draft system. We also have a wonderful patio that's perfect for live music and events. Come join us at the Ogden Tap Room. We'd love to share our great food, drinks, and service with you. Welcome back as uh, we're getting set for the top of the fifth inning. 4-2 UNCW on top of Elon. There you see the line. Seahawks two in the first, two in the third. Elon one in the third, one in the fourth. R.J. Sales comes back out. Forgot to mention our steam scorer today is Tom Reed. Always, always. Yes. Making the uh, calls on errors, wild pitches, and bad jokes that we tell. <laughs> Which he uses A lot of errors a lot, there. A lot of thumbs down on that. Charlie Granitell will lead off for the Phoenix. It'll be Granitell, Sprock, and Paradigm. Granitell is a one for one. RBI is walked. He's at 373. Now, RJ Sales, I think, wants a new baseball. Yep. Shout out also to our field crew who came out there between innings, did a nice job. Next year, they won't have to worry about that. 
next year they'll just be able to take it all in with the, uh, the turf field coming next year. That'll be started, uh, what, soon as the season's over, right, after the tournament? Grounder foul down the third baseline. Yeah, I think Randy Hood said by July 1st they want to have uh, broken ground on everything, the, the field, dugouts, wall. There's a lot of things starting with, the again, the playing surface and the, the athletes. That pitch outside, one and one. R.J. Sales, fifth inning of work, has a 4-2 lead. That's a strike, one and two. Again, not much of a breeze today, just blowing a little bit to uh, right field, which is unusual. Usually we'll see it blowing to left field here. And the pitch, Ooh, almost got him to go there, two and two. Sale set, here's a pitch. Grounded, this time Kroom will make the play. The vacuum will throw it to first, and there's one out. Very reliable with his glove at third base is Jack Kroom. Well, he's a all-conference performer the last couple of years. Nice job to retire Granite Tail. You mentioned uh, you know some teams, some series double up today. Towson Monmouth will play two today. Northeastern Hofstra's playing two, and already the first game underway, Northeastern Hofstra Hopster leads three to two, bottom of the fourth on our Hardy CA scoreboard. So here's Sprock, he's 0 for two. First pitch again, swinging, and that fouled off. Past the press box here to our right, count nothing to one. Shane Paradine is on deck. Oh, check swing there, he went. And the count is nothing and two. Pitch high, didn't get him to go for that one. Count now one and two. RJ Sales today with four strikeouts. Gives him 33 on the season. Again, checks his device where he gets assigned as to what kind of pitch to throw, and now he's ready. Boy, just a little number off the bat, and Jones is able to run it down from his shortstop position, and there's two outs. Off speed, came inside and handcuffed him and off the bat handle, it seemed like 59 miles an hour off the bat of uh, Sprock and able to chase it down was Jones on the run. Shane Paradine now one for two, last time up singled and scored a run. Two outs here, top of the uh, fifth inning, 4-2 Seahawks. That's in the dirt, 1-0 the count. That's high, 2-0. Oh. That's line, base hit, right field. It's Paradine, his second hit of the day. Runner on first with two outs. That'll bring up Connor Oshak. Singled his last time up. Nice job by Paradine to go where that ball was pitched. It was pitched away to the right-handed hitter, and he was able to come up with a base hit to right field to extend this fifth inning. Seventh hit so far today for the Phoenix. Last time these two guys, Paradine off Shack, went back to bat with singles. That pitch way outside, 1-0. Sales ready. Bounced it in, got away from Arndt, but he quickly picked it up and the runner did not move. Count 2 0. Oh. 
That's it way up in the air in the infield. Let's see. There's four infielders coming in. Kroom is calling, and he'll make the catch. That was a little tough because he had to step over the mound, too, which could affect you as you're running. But he makes the catch. That ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth, 4-2 to two, UNCW. This is Seahawk Baseball on Flow Sports and the Breeze. It's bow time. What's that? The Bojangler from Bojangles. The same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries? The same. Mm, not the same. The Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's bow time. Ah. And so? I'm just being myself. Cool as can be. It's so easy. Get out your own way. It's bow time. What's that? The Bojangler from Bojangles. The same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries? The same. Mm, not the same. The Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's bow time. Ah. And so? I'm just being myself. Cool as can be. It's so easy. Get out your own way. Welcome back to uh, Brooks Field, 4-2 to two, UNCW. You see some of the uh, upcoming events for Seahawks sports. Softball will be on the uh, road. They're actually at Towson. I think they had a doubleheader today, do they not, because of the weather? Then Hostra next weekend back at home. And then they've got North Carolina on the road at the beginning of April. So there you go, some other events you can check out. Softball right now undefeated in the CAA. Yeah, back-to-back -back sweeps. Hampton and the Elon last weekend here with Elon. Yeah, once we got the umpire to <laughs> yes. show up. Four to two, UNCW on top, bottom of the fifth. Here's Trevor Marsh, last time up doubled and scored. Fouls it off, 0-1 the count. Keep that shift on, three infielders to the right side, only off Shack, the third baseman on the left side, the infield. They've, uh, they've shifted more than yeah. I've seen anybody so far this year that's played here against UNCW. The pitch, that's high, one and one. So it's Marsh, DiMartino, and Thatch for UNCW. Four to two Seahawks, we're in the bottom of the fifth inning. I know you folks are wondering, there are more fun facts coming with Mike, just relax, I know we're getting a lot of calls. This ball is hit way up in the air, right fielder. Granatel moves over into foul territory and now drifts back close to the line and he'll make the catch. There's one away. Did you know that Elon, they've made six regional appearances. Their last one, though, 2013 in Charlottesville, Virginia. Do you know who they beat twice in that regional? I do, but I'll let you tell them. <laughs> UNCW. Before Elon joined the league, they beat Elon or UNCW twice, 10-7 to and 6-4, to ending UNCW's year that season. Here's DiMartino, base hit, first pitch, swinging to right field. So he's two for two. And he is on with one out. Tanner Thatch comes up. He's one for two, has an RBI, which was his 30th RBI of the season. And DiMartino starting to get things going now with that base hit. Batting average at 321 now for DiMartino. First pitch to Thatch is outside, ball one. Justin Mitrovich. Still on the mound. There had been a right-hander throwing earlier. Not anymore. The bullpen is quiet for Elon. And the pitch. That's a strike. Now, did you see the mic'd up segment they did with uh, with Tanner I Thash? did. That was very, very enjoyable. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, you need to check that out. Oh, boy. <laughs> You could tell he wanted to swing, and then he wasn't going to swing, and he decided not to, and the count is one and two. What was the sandwich he brought up? Bananas and mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, God. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Bananas and mayonnaise. Said it was oh. a Perquimans oh. thing. I don't know about that. Brian Hart will come up. He's one for two. He's driven home a run, 242 average. 
Hey, but you know the guys, you know, leading the team in home runs, hey. RBIs. I mean, you can't argue with it. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the whole team should be eating That's bananas, right. bananas <laughs> and mayonnaise sandwiches. Oof. First pitch to Art. Off speed, got it. This time the uh, second baseman, Sestawicki, now moves over to the third base side. So there's three infielders on the left. Two outs, runner on first for the Seahawks. Grounder to the shortstop. Broderick will throw to second, and that will end the inning. We have completed 5-4-2 UNCW. This is Seahawk Baseball on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Kennedy's Real Estate Service is your local company for all your residential, brokerage, management, and appraisal needs in the Wilmington and New Hanover County area. Tim is not only a UNCW alumni, he has been your friendly broker since 1994 and providing residential appraisal since 1997. Give him a call, 910-799-1068, or visit him on the web at KennedyRES.com. Dr. Christopher Branco of Oleander Chiropractic wants you to know that you don't have to be a UNCW athlete to be treated like one. Stop by Oleander Chiropractic on Oleander Drive in the Arboretum behind Port City, Java, and you'll get the best care in a safe, comfortable family atmosphere. Dr. Branco has 15 years' experience and is the official chiropractic consultant of UNCW Athletics. Oleander Chiropractic is open Monday through Friday with morning and evening appointments available. Most insurance is accepted. For help, tips, and coupons, visit Oleander chiropractic.com welcome back to uh, brooks field jim woodbar mike vaccaro our entire crew four to two uncw on top we go to the top of the six rj sales will face justin sestawicki and then it'll be duffy and broderick for elon both teams with seven hits seahawks up though four to two in the important category former uh Seahawk uh, basketball coach is an alumnus of uh, Elon, Frank Haith. Frank Haith, yeah, I saw that. Is he now. still coaching? He is. He's on the, somebody's staff. I want to say Texas for some reason. With, with Rodney Terry? If it's not a uh, map uh, question for Mike, he doesn't have the answer. <laughs> Here's Sestawicki. He's 0 for 2. R.J. Sales ready here, top of the sixth inning. First pitch inside, 1-0. and oh. Texas, Texas assistant. So they're still playing. Also there with uh, Two and oh. Rodney Terry, yeah, former Rodney Terry. assistant here, and Byron Jones, a former assistant here at UNCW, all on that Texas staff. Two balls, no strikes outside, 3-0 and from Sales. Right-hander throws again for UNCW. Connor Kane. 3-0 pitch here from RJ. Strike three and one. Alex Duffy on deck. Ball's hitting the air to right field. DiMartino, a couple of steps. Now he walks and makes the catch. One away. Good job bouncing back after getting behind the count for R.J. Sales. Continues to keep the ball down, but that one was lifted to right field, as you mentioned, the Sestawicki. Retired for a third time. Duffy one for two with an RBI. 266 is average now. Top of the sixth inning. Well, certainly the Seahawks are getting what they needed out of R.J. Sales. First pitch is a strike. This time Kevin Jones now shifts right behind the bag at second base. So if the ball is hit up the middle, he will be able to make the play. Strike there. Nothing to two. What if it's hit off the bag? Well, that, that could be, that that a, could be a problem. Yes. All right. See, now you got to bring up the bad stuff. Uh, come on. That's why he just moved a little to the side of the bay. Pops this one up in the air, and guess who? Well, I was going to, yeah, is it Jones? Yep, he'll make the catch. And there's two away. See, you heard us talking about him. I think Room called for it, and then he called him off. And he was like, 
All right, fine. You take it. Oh, uh, we'll see a replay here, but the, the reaction of Kevin of uh, Jack Crow was just uh, amazing here. Well, if they show it again, it's just, uh, it was like, uh, I, I, uh, all right, fine. You take it. I mean, it is the shortstop oh. is is the quarterback out there. He's the leader yeah. out there. Broderick up now. Strike call. And again, he, he probably has a earpiece in. He heard we were talking about Here we go. Look there at the replay. Go. And just watch the reaction of Jack Room. <laughs> <laughs> Line to right field base hit for Broderick. So another two out hit here for the Phoenix. They've got a runner on. <laughs> that was a great reaction. He put his glove up. <laughs> put his glove up like he was catching it. <laughs> so two outs runner on first. Here's Vince Vittori. Oh, for what? <laughs> that was pretty good. Darker cloud now, right yeah. over the top of the stadium here. Lights are starting to take their effect. Top of the sixth inning, four to two. That pitch high, ball one. Connor King continues to work. He's ready if the Seahawks have to go to him. Sales would like to get him out of this inning. Get the bats back up. Bottom of the six, it'll be Kroom, Jones, and Nova Bilski. Here's the pitch. Strike called, one and one. Mark Scapp in the, the crowd here, retired baseball coach. Do you think he's talking about the game or the weather? He's, he's always a weather guy. He's good at it, too, though. He, he knows his weather. <laughs> that ball is grounded. That's going to be a base hit. Got by the shortstop, and suddenly first and second for the Phoenix. Two outs, top of the lineup coming back up. Kenny Mallory, Jr., he's one for three. Well, Sales is doing his job. He's keeping the ball down, a 92-mile-an-hour fastball that's down. It's out of the strike zone. But Vittori able to get a piece of it and, and drive it. And you said to the outfield here, and yeah, that might be it for Sales as Randy Hood makes a walk out from the dugout. Yep, it's going to be a Pepsi pitch. Well, we'll just hang on here. Usually it makes the move, and he will. Pepsi pitching change on the way, 4-2 to two, UNCW. Here in the top of the sixth inning, we'll tell you who the new pitcher is all about. I'm coming up, Seahawk baseball on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Experience what coastal living is all about in a Carolina skiff from Marine Warehouse. The high output, lightweight Suzuki outboards are the perfect match. From fishing to cruising, in four inches of water to 4,000 feet, Carolina skiff boats are at home everywhere, especially when paired with the reliable, powerful Suzuki four-stroke outboard. As things are taking longer to get, order your Carolina skiff and Suzuki outboard today. Visit Marine Warehouse Center on Market Street or marinewarehousecenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalot. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. Well, there you see the new pitcher. When this young man is on, he is on. Connor Kane, this will be his ninth appearance, 11 and a third innings, four hits, two runs, an earned run, five walks, 13 strikeouts. He does have two saves, record of one and one, ERA of point seven nine. When he comes in throwing strikes, other teams are having trouble finding it. Yeah, the save over the weekend on Sunday at Charlotte. Really good out of the gate last year as a freshman. That man from Laney High School and uh, has been able to carry that over to this season. When you look at uh, that performance against Charlotte, an inning in the third. Give up a run on a couple of hits, three strikeouts. Best outings was a, a win he had a relief against St. Joe's. Three innings, allowed nothing, struck out five, and didn't walk anybody. So set up well here because you've got the top of the lineup up, guys that would have faced sales for a fourth time, and, and typically you don't want to see that if if you're the pitcher and the, the team in uh, Randy Hood, the head coach. So elects to make the change here. Kane in the sixth inning and kind of sets things up well with the Seahawks leading it four to two, but there are two runners on. Broderick on second and Fattori on first. A reminder, you're listening to us on the radio on the breeze, W240AS Wilmington, WKXBHD2 Boiling Spring Lakes. Glad to have you with us 
Also on Flow Sports. Appreciate everyone being with us today for brunch at Brooks. Mallory Jr., last time up, he struck out with the bases loaded. He was called out on strikes. Connor Kane is set. Here's his first pitch. Strike. Nothing and one. Riders take their leads at first and second. And the pitch. Got him to hit it up in the air. Jack Crew moving over. Third baseman in the infield. Makes the catch. Connor Kane does his job. We go to the bottom of the six. Four to two, UNCW. This is Seahawk Baseball on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Get ready, Carolina. The Great Outdoors Spring Sales event is on. Discover great savings on a great selection of Ford vehicles, like Ford Explorer, the best-selling SUV in America, Ford Bronco and Bronco Sport, or the powerful Ford F-150. Great adventures and big savings are calling. Get to the Great Outdoors Spring Sales event today. Drive away with 1.9% financing for 72 months with up to 4150 package savings, plus no payments for 90 days on select Ford trucks. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Game day at walk-ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-ons way. Well, nice job by Connor Kane. Came in and did his, uh, did his job in relief. And uh, the Seahawks come back to bat here. Bottom of the six, four to two. They've been out hit nine to seven. But they have the lead. Justin Mitrovich will come back out. He'll face Kroom Jones and Nova Bilski for UNCW. But, Mike, that's what you want to see out of your relief core. And Connor Kane certainly did the job. And it's been a, a bend but don't break so far for the pitching staff for UNCW as they've left eight on the bases here in this game. So there's been guys on base that time, a couple of hits with two outs already. So able to get out of that inning with uh, Connor Kane, as you said, doing his job. A couple of pitches, gets a third out. Jack Kroom, one for two, RBI, 254 the average. And again, here's the shift. Three infielders to the right side. Off Shaq by himself to the left. That pitch is a strike, nothing to one to count. And Elon's bullpen again will start to get busy. Looks like a left-hander is going to start throwing down there. That ball is hit hard by uh, Kroom right to the center fielder. Didn't have to move far, though, for Torrey, and there's one away. Yeah, a couple of steps to his left. Right there, well positioned for the out. Kevin Jones 0 for 2, a couple of strikeouts. Bottom of the order here, struck out four times in six at bats. Jones, Novobilski, and Arndt, Jason Arndt. First pitch inside, almost hit him. 1 0. Speaking of Jones, another Jones, former Seahawk Greg Jones, just traded from Tampa Bay to. Uh, the uh, uh, Rockies organization. This ball is hit to left center coming in. Fattori had to move on that one. He'll make the catch. There's two away. Maybe a chance for Jones so close to the major leagues to, to have a chance to make his debut this summer with the Rockies. So here's Kevin Novobilski 0 for 2. Strikeout and a ground out to third. Two away quickly. We're in the bottom of the six, four to two, UNCW. First pitch, lined right to the shortstop. Broderick was in the perfect spot. Seahawks go down, one, two, three. We go to the top of the seventh. Mike will take us home. Seahawks lead it four to two. This is UNCW Baseball on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Dr. Christopher Branco of Oleander Chiropractic wants you to know that you don't have to be a UNCW athlete to be treated like one. Stop by Oleander Chiropractic on Oleander Drive in the Arboretum behind Port City, Java, and you'll get the best care in a safe, comfortable family atmosphere. Dr. Branco has 15 years experience and is the official chiropractic consultant of UNCW Athletics. Oleander Chiropractic is open Monday through Friday with morning and evening appointments available. Most insurance is accepted. For health tips and coupons, visit Oleander chiropractic.com 
Josh Barber here for Capital Ford Lincoln of Wilmington and proud UNCW graduate. At Capital, we want to service all your automotive needs now with two full-service Wilmington locations, Ford on Oleander Drive and Lincoln on Market Street. We have you covered with new and pre-owned sales, vehicle maintenance and repair, mobile service, parts, and even collision repair. So come see us on Oleander Drive or Market Street for the largest selection of new Fords and Lincolns in eastern North Carolina. Or check us out online at CapitalFordOfWilmington.com. And remember, go see home. 4-2 UNCW, a little breezy left to right. <laughs> Look at the flags as you're watching us on Flow Sports. Mike Vaccaro, Jim Whitmire with you. Glad you're with us here. A little earlier than expected because of uh, what weather heading this way. Top of the seventh inning, it'll be uh, two, three, and four against Connor Kane, who came in last inning on relief of uh, RJ Sales. Sales, a pretty good bounce back game for him. Five and two thirds, two runs on nine hits. But able to uh, strand runners, as we mentioned, eight runners stranded. Four strikeouts, two walks. Probably more balls in the air than he would like. Eight flyouts, only four ground outs. Finished at 99 pitches. Granitel, one for two. That was an RBI double to right center in the third inning. And the first pitch in there for a strike taken. Granitel, Sprock, Paradigm. Do up here this inning for Elon. A little breezy out there. Fans put some jackets on. Keeping the ball low, too low this time. Well, even the can at one and one. Yeah, I saw between innings they were showing the umpire of the radar. There are showers around, but nothing really heavy. But it's coming from offshore right now. Kane with a one one. Breaking ball has popped out of play. One and two. Last year, twice named Rookie of the Week. Outstanding season. Now a sophomore is Kane out of Laney High School. One, two. This one is golf to the second baseman charging, and then a shovel pass, low toss. Aren't to Thatch able to get that before it hit the dirt. Well, that was, uh, that was a little closer than it needed to be there. Yeah, I'm a little surprised the way he shoveled that. Didn't get anything on it. But they get the runner. Ryan Sprock, designated hitter, hitless at 0 for 3. 4 to 2 UNCW, top of the seventh here at Brooksfield. Breaking ball is lying to left field. And a base hit for Sprock, his first, Elon's 10th hit of the game. So Sprock aboard and the tying run represented Paradigm. Not a surprise, Elon came into this game first in the conference in total hits with 202. Elon, a team that averages seven and a half runs a game, right now being held to two. Kane to the plate, inside corner for a strike. Some MLB alums from Elon, current uh, pitchers John Brebia and George Kirby. Kirby with the Mariners, starting pitcher Brebia. I think with the Royals, he was with the Giants. This pitch is fouled to the right side for Brebia. Maybe his beard better known than he is at times. Jack McKean, a former uh, Elon, uh, an alum, former World Series champion manager, Joe West. Uh, former uh, umpire and Elon alum. 0-2 oh, pitch, chops it to uh, Jones, a shortstop to second for one. Can they turn two? Yes, they can. Punched out at first base was Newton, or was uh, the whole play, or the first base umpire, Newton, punching out Paradigm, but they will take a look at this. For the moment, a double play. At least they get one. So worst case for UNCW, there's two outs a runner at first. Best case, you double up the runner, Paradigm, at first base. First replay of the day. We had a streak going for a long time of, uh, I think it was nine replays in a row before we had our first overturn out here. And then all of a sudden we had four straight in one game. 
And, uh, yeah, they're going to look at this. I mean, the runner is certainly going to first. Paradigm is not fast. And uh, it looked to me like they might have beaten him again. If you're watching us, we will see this replay after the umpires. Umpires will get a look at it first, whatever angles they have, and then they'll come back out. They open the magic gate. And when the magic gate opens, you know they're about to make a decision. <laughs> Very close. If they get him, it's because of the stretch, I think, of Tanner Thash, the first baseman. No hesitation for Bradley Newton, the first base umpire, who made the call. Yeah, this is uh, this might take a couple of seconds here because I think they'll want to look at more than one angle yeah. on this. Checking out his uh, foot. It was interesting watching him run down to uh, first. Paradigm was saying he was safe, and he wasn't even near the bag yet. He was already <laughs> calling himself safe. I think he was trying to help the umpire early. So we wait. Seahawks, of course, it started off the field, but of course, when they go to the replay, they make them come back out. So they have to say, oh, they're already coming back out. This didn't take long. He is out. All right, they do confirm it. 6-4-3 double play will end the top half of the seventh inning. Time to stretch here at Brooksfield. UNCW leads 4-2. to two. Back after this on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Two hand breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Keith Alton with Alpha Mortgage. As a former Seahawk, I know the importance of teamwork. So whether you're here at Trask Coliseum or at beautiful Brooksfield, take comfort in knowing that my team has you covered from downtown to the suburbs to the beach. Give Alpha Mortgage a call and go home. Hardy's two for $5 breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. And now enjoy breakfast till noon every day. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers from Hardy's Apple. Take a look at the replay of the double play turned by the Seahawk defense. Second double play and a great stretch by Thatch. And just gets him by a step. Four double play, 14 double plays turned by the Seahawk defense this season, but uh, really good there to end that inning. Bottom of the seventh, four to two UNCW. Here in the uh, first conference game for both these schools, a weekend series. Right now, tomorrow at 4, Sunday at 2, but we'll wait to see what this weather is going to do. Jason Art leads off for UNCW. He's 0 for 2. <laughs> Mitrovic scoring a butt, pulling it back, and the pitch low for Mitrovic. Ball of no strikes. Boy, this team, uh, they shift more than anybody I've seen. We mentioned it, but here they are again with another shift on. Scoring a bunt against the shift and uh, doesn't offer, but it's a call strike. One ball, one strike. Mitrovic, the starter. Still on the mound here for Elon. Six innings, four runs on seven hits. Over the top in there for a strike, one and two. The Seahawks, two runs on three hits in the first, two runs on three hits in the third, but zeros since then. Only one base runner since then, and that was... Uh, DiMartino with a single in the fifth inning. Watches that one low, two and two. Seven strikeouts and just one walk for the conference's strikeout leader. He has now 50 on the season. It's also fourth in innings pitch coming in at 30 and a third innings. Two, two, a pop up. Will it stay in play? Throwing the mask is Duffy. First baseman oh. snagging that one is Paradine right in front of UNCW's dugout. Very nice play by, uh, yeah, Shane Paradine. At first when that ball was up, it looked like when he was coming in, he looked like, again, he didn't know where the ball was. He was looking at the catcher. Then he picked it up and, yeah, had to uh, kind of go a backward way, but he got it. Almost more impressive than that was uh, the – the mask toss by Duffy. He went for the on-deck circle, almost threw it back to the plate. Swing and a miss. 
by John Newton. One out, nobody on. Bottom of the seventh. As they, they coach you, though, you've got to wait till you know where it is and throw that mass so you're not going to trip over it. This is low, one and one. Yeah, we had a guy earlier this season, one of the catchers from the opposing team, he held his mask when he tried to catch the ball. Mitrovic, a 1-1, one, one. low, 2-1 and one to Newton, 1 for 3, let off with a single on the first pitch up the middle of the first inning, score the first run for UNCW. Since then a ground out and a strikeout. UNCW leads 4-2, to two. came inside, it's a number up the middle, shortstop over to first base, Broderick and a nice stretch for Paradigm, the first baseman toward right field to retire Newton. The left-hander Colby Pascarelli, the freshman, still throws in the uh, Elon uh, bullpen. Trevor Marsh, one for three, a double to right center in the third inning. For UNCW, again, just one hit since that third. But they lead it four to two, bottom of the seventh inning. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch high and away to Marsh. Here at Brooksville, built in 1962. one -oh. Breaking ball swung on and missed. It'll get the uh, much-needed update, as we mentioned, after the year. one one Inside fastball. Misses, and it's two and one. So some long overdue renovations. The dugouts here since uh, the Wilmington Waves oh, yeah. were here. And that's I remember more well. than 20 years ago, right? Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. Two was, and two. I was out here for that. Wilmington Waves minor league team for the Dodgers at the time. Just one year. And then they <laughs> went to Montgomery. Is that what became the Montgomery Biscuits? Yes, yes they moved. Chop ball right side into the shift, fielded up by Sestowicki, the toss to Paradine, and UNCW goes in order. Mitrovic, he has retired the last eight batters he's seen. He's given his hitters a chance here as we go to the eighth. It's four to two UNCW leads on Flow Sports at 95.9 The Breeze. Hampton Inn University at Hampton Inn Suites, Landfall Park are proud UNCW Seahawks sponsor. Award-winning hotels providing rooms, suites, catering, and meeting rooms. As for the Seahawks special, call 910-399-9006. That's 910-399-9006. Hamptonin.com and support the Seahawks. Game day at walk-ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day. The walk-on's way. <laughs> Well, the Reigns have finally arrived here in Wilmington. The Seahawks lead this game 4-2, to two, top of the eighth inning. Fans left scattering to get some cover. Play on here right now. And uh, right now it becomes in, in the hands of the umpires as far as how long it goes. It doesn't look like it's too hard. Uh, I mean, I of see. course, the radar can always tell you different, but it's not heavy. As it comes on, he's coming from offshore. Go from offshore to off shack. Leading off here for Elon in the uh, eighth inning. <laughs> Don't forget, we'll see him on Saturday night. Mike live <laughs> downtown. Make sure you get your tickets now. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking ball outside, one and three. Will this be your first uh, no, appearance no, at the comedy no, show no, or no. what? <laughs> Com the comedy shack. The co oh, gosh. <laughs> off shack, one for three. A single for him in the fourth. Connor Kane on the mound, the uh, ooh, up and in, nearly hits him. It's two balls, no strikes. Uh, 
Again, Elon, since 2015 in the CAA. Two-o pitch, and it's lined out of the reach of Arnton to right center field. It'll roll back to the base of the wall, and a double leading off for Offshack. Second time, one has been taken right over. It seems like Arnt's head there. Not able to get up there and make the play. Well, while the, the Seahawk bats have gone silent, Elon's coming up with hits, but they just aren't able to drive in runs. But now they have a leadoff hit, an extra base hit as well. First leadoff hit since Paradine had a single in the fourth and scored a run. It has been confirmed that his walk-up song is Love Shack. There you go. So, yeah, I, we had that right. We're one for 30 now. Sestawicki swings and misses. 0 for 3, Sestawicki, two flyouts and a strikeout. <laughs> 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball is hit foul. One ball, one, excuse me, no balls, two strikes to count here to Sestawicki. Kane to the plate. Breaking ball, swings and misses. Nice job by Kane to get the strikeout one away with a runner. At second base. As you mentioned, Elon's getting the runners on. They're just not able to get them home. The Seahawks have been able to pitch around some trouble. Alex Duffy a double, an RBI double back in the fourth inning. He's one for three. First pitch, outside corner, strike one. Kane, the 0-1. Ground ball down the line at third. Past Kroom, who was playing off the line. Offshack will score. And heading to second feet first slide, a double for Duffy to make this a 4-3 ball game. Well, you knew eventually with all these hits that something was going to happen for Elon probably good and that time again. You watch here down the line. As Mike mentioned, Kroom not on the line, so that ball gets through easily and an easy run home. And now Randy Hood will come out and talk to Connor Kane as he does have a lefty in the bullpen. James Broderick, left-handed hitter coming up. And do they make the change here in the eighth inning? Four to three. Tying run is at second. Luke Craig, the lefty, warming. And in all likelihood, we'll have a Pepsi pitching change here for UNCW. Duffy with the... Two doubles driving in runs, and we will have a Pepsi pitching change. Pepsi, proud partner of the Seahawks. Big spot here for the lefty, Luke Craig. One out. Tying run in scoring position with the Seahawks leading it 4-3. to three, Top of the eighth inning, back after this on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Today is your day. It's time to stop wishing for it and start working towards it. One day at a time, one workout at a time. Your best is not behind you. Look forward. Hi, I'm Morgan Matthews. Check out Matthews Motors in Wilmington. We have lots of inventory with easy online shopping on the new website. A home test drive and delivery program a certified pre-owned warranty program, lifetime powertrain warranties, a new truck center, and ASC certified technicians that will keep you on the road. We are family owned and operated, so come check us out and become a member of the Matthews Motors family today. Top of the eighth inning, tying run in scoring position with UNCW leading it four to three. Luke Craig takes over. We'll get to some other changes for Elon in just a moment for Craig. Tenth appearance, 1-0. He got the win on Sunday at Charlotte in relief. Three and a, and a, a 3.5 ERA. 
18 innings of work. 16 hits, seven runs, all earned, 22 strikeouts, and eight walks. So a pinch runner is Adam Berry. He's at second base replacing Alex Duffy, the catcher. And also have a Will Vergentino. Looks like a pinch hitter now. So you're bringing the lefty to face the lefty, James Broderick. Instead, Vergentino will pinch hit. Vergentino at 364 average. Four hundred average against left-handed hitters as well for Bergantino. So even though he's a, a right-handed hitter, or you take the lefty out to put the righty in there. And again on the season overall, 364. But a big spot. Chance to tie this game up. Well, interesting there, he hadn't reported to the umpire. The umpire was kind of staring at him until he finally said something after he heard the PA announcement. One out, runner at second. Craig, the first pitch. In and out of the mid of Art that allows the runner to get the third. The ball and no strikes. Runner now 90 feet from the plate as Elon is looking to tie this game up. It'll be a pass ball that gets Adam Berry to third base. Infield in, the pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes. Bergantino, the redshirt junior from Lumberton, New Jersey, takes a strike two and one. It's right, right outside of Philly. <laughs> I'll look that up. Uh, <laughs> Probably is. Two and one. Missing inside. Now three balls and a strike. Part of the Philadelphia Reading Camden combined statistical area. Good call. I've learned, man. I listen to what you say. 3-1. That's it. Foul out of play. 3-2. and two. You're either, if you're in Pennsylvania, you're either just outside of Philly on the East Coast, just outside of Pittsburgh, Western Pennsylvania. Full county here to Vergantino. Craig with the pitch. Foul ball, right side, out of play. One run, two hits, runner at third base, a tying run. UNCW, top of the eighth inning, leads four to three. Infield in to cut down the runner if he comes home. Barry from third base, and the pitch. Foul back. Vergantino battling here. Seven pitch at bat against Luke Craig. Three two again, inside and low, and a walk to Vergentino. So runners on the corners. Another pinch hitter, Trey Tiffin. So Tiffin will pinch it. The center fielder, Fittori. Tiffin, a 182 batting average on the season. Four for 22. Runners on the corners. One out. The defense back now looking for a ground ball to turn two. Inside under the hands for a strike called to Trey Tiffin. Freshman from Royersford, Pennsylvania, swing and a miss. 
Again, <laughs> close to uh, up, Philadelphia. <laughs> he went to a Malvern Prep. Boy, Craig could really use a strikeout right here if he could get it. Swing and a miss. He does on three pitches. Strikes out Tiffin. Two away. Runners on the corners. Four to three ball game. Kenny Mallory Jr. One for four. Following his parents to Elon. His dad, Kenny Mallory Sr. played baseball. Mom played volleyball at Elon. Luke Craig, first pitch, sweeps across for a strike. Luke Montana Craig, I asked him Monday at Dugout Chatter, what is the Montana for? You know, there's, there has to be a story behind it. He's like, no, there really <laughs> isn't. I think my parents just like the name. 0-1 oh, pitch, outside, 1-1. I thought, you know, maybe they're Joe Montana fans growing oh, up. Sure. I, thought, I thought maybe, you know. They visited Montana. Actually, uh, got, got the story is there. he was named after Hannah Montana. Oh, maybe. Yeah, and I don't you know go. if you so knew that. I forgot about that there one. Yes, go. yes. Yeah, he's got to come up. Tell him he's got to come up with a good story. 1-1, one, one, breaking ball low. And the count now 2-1 and one <laughs> for Luke Craig. Yeah, it'd be great telling people. Yeah, it was a middle, middle name came after Hannah Montana. <laughs> maybe it is, and maybe that's why he's not saying anything. Connor Marshburn warming up. <laughs> Now the bullpen. <laughs> Two outs, runners on the corner. Seahawks up a run here in the eighth. The pitch outside, three and one. Lefty lefty matchup here. Craig against Mallory out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. Vanderbilt transfer is Kenny Mallory Jr. Looking to tie this game up. 3 1 pitch. Fly ball down the line in left field. Looks like it's going to go foul. Chasing it foul is Newton. Couldn't get there in time as the bullpen for Elon was creeping up on him. He slowed down as he saw that the bullpen maybe had a chance. Instead of full count here with two outs, top of the eighth inning. Big pitch here. Craig to Mallory Jr. Check swing, did he go? They check and no swing, says Kirk Dominic. The third base umpire who's behind the mound and a walk to Mallory will load the bases for Granitel. Well, you got the right-hander now, Marshburn, throwing. Now, he hasn't been up long. I don't know if he'd be ready. Bases loaded, two outs, top of the eighth inning, UNCW up a run. Here in this CAA opener, Granitel, one for three with a double. First pitch, hits it foul and out of play. Walked in the first, drove in a run with a double in the third. Ground outs his last two times up. Barry at third base. Vergentino is at second, Mallory is at first. Down the pitch, outside, one ball, one strike. Luke Craig, two walks and a strikeout since coming in. One one. Came inside and it's fouled off to the right side. Out of play, one ball, two strikes to Charlie Granitel. Junior right fielder. Luke Craig, he's got the pitch. Toes the rubber on the third base side. He comes set. The one, two. That is hit foul, turning on that pitch. Sending it a long way. Count holds one and two. 109 off the bat of Granitel, that foul ball. Oh, yeah, he did turn on that quick, didn't he? One ball, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded, and the pitch. Fly ball right side, and it's going to go foul. Sprays one left, sprays one right. Four to three, UNCW. Top of the eighth inning, Elon threatening it to take the lead. Luke Craig, the one-two. 
attacks and it's fouled off again. 94 mile an hour fastball. Craig shook off one pitch from Hart. One ball, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded, the pitch. Another foul ball to the right side. You gotta like the way uh, Elon battles at the plate. They really, they force the pitchers to throw some pitches here. He's seen pretty much everything Craig's got. Seven pitch at bat here for Charlie Granitel. We'll do the one, two once again. Inside too much, two balls, two strikes. Right-handed hitter is Charlie Granitel. Lefty on the mound, Luke Craig. It's been a battle here. This at bat, two balls, two strikes, two outs, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Luke Craig. That'll end the inning and the threat. The Seahawks maintain the lead. We go to the bottom of the eighth, UNCW four, Elon three. Back after this on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Experience what coastal living is all about in a Carolina skiff from Marine Warehouse. The high output, lightweight Suzuki outboards are the perfect match. From fishing to cruising, in four inches of water to 4,000 feet, Carolina skiff boats are at home everywhere, especially when paired with the reliable, powerful Suzuki four-stroke outboard. As things are taking longer to get, order your Carolina skiff and Suzuki outboard today. Visit Marine Warehouse Center on Market Street or marinewarehousecenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalope. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. Four to three UNCW. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Substitutions here for Elon. Let's first get to the pitcher as Crystal Geralds will take over on the mound. Tenth appearance off of the bullpen. He's 1 0, a 5.74 ERA. 15 and two thirds innings, 14 hits, 10 runs all earned, 14 strikeouts, and five walks on the season. So Mitrovich is done after seven innings and 96 pitches for Mitrovic. Also, looks like what, Tank Yagubi is in center field. Yeah, you got Tank Yagubi in center. You've got uh, Joe Yavino is catching now, and Will Vergantino is at shortstop. I believe that's it. So again, Christo Geralds. Righty on the mound. Starts off with Alec DiMartino. First pitch is strike taken. Geralt's in the pitch. Fly ball to right. Making the run toward the line and caught by Granitel for round number one. One away here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Four to three UNCW. Tanner Thatch, one for three here today. Drove in a run with a single in the third. Yeah, that might be it for Geralt's. So he came in basically to face DiMartino with a lefty Thatch coming up. You know there's not going to be a a change for UNCW there, so they bring in a lefty from the bullpen, a Pepsi pitching change for Elon. Pepsi, a proud partner of the Seahawks. We'll take a break. We continue on the bottom half of the eighth inning. Seahawks up 4-3 to three with one out and nobody on. Back after this on Flow Sports and the Breeze.
People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. One out, nobody on. Bottom of the eighth inning. Seahawks up 4-3. to three. You see Colby Pascarelli there, the uh, redshirt freshman left-handed pitcher taking over on the mound here for the Phoenix. Eighth appearance for the bullpen, 2-0 oh, with an ERA of 4. And he'll start off against Tanner Thatch. And the first pitch low, so lefty-lefty matchup here. And we'll see. Nobody else warming up, so maybe his for a little bit. Breaking ball over the top, misses outside. Two balls and no strikes. Top foul, two and one. Fly ball, left field, deep. Well, it looks like it's going to go foul and bounce into the bullpen. Two balls, two strikes. Two runs in the first, two in the third for UNCW for Elon. One run in the third, the fourth, and one run in the, this eighth inning as that's low, three and two now the count. And Elon has stranded 11 runners, including the bases loaded in the eighth inning. 3-2 pitch, ground ball down the first baseline, off the glove of the first baseman. Paradine to throw wide and... It'll be a base hit for Thatch, his second hit. Well, everybody had to get out of the way there. The umpire first had to get out of the way, then Paradine as he tried to get to it, fell over. There was no way they were going to get Thatch, but Seahawks boy could use at least one run here, a little insurance. He looked at the top of the ninth. It'll be three, four, and five coming up for Elon. One out, one on for Brian Art. Drove in a run with a single in the first inning. Officially one for three. Fastball inside, ball and no strikes. Now righty and a lefty throw for Elon. Throw to first base back safely is Thatch. Three for five in stolen bases on the season. Dances around over there, and the pitch. Dropped it in. Strike one, one ball, one strike to count. Too far away this time, two and one. Hudson Narki and Liam Dabogian are uh, throwing for Elon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Two on pitch. Thumbs yeah. up. <laughs> Tabaji, good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. It'll be up to you when he comes in. <laughs> 2-1. <laughs> Pop up right side. Second baseman charges out into foul territory. Does uh, Sestawicki, but he cannot get there before it falls down into the dirt. So it's two balls, two strikes to count. Arndt stays alive. Bottom of the eighth inning, it's four to three UNCW. First game of the conference slate for both these teams. Two, two, ground ball right side through the hole. Thatch touches second, he's on his way to third on the single by Arndt here with one out. In the eighth inning. 
Nice piece of hitting there from Art. And now a chance for UNCW to get that one run back, and uh, who knows, maybe add some more, but at least one would be huge. Tight here, the Seahawks up four to three, tight the top of the ninth inning on Long Island as Hofstra leads Northeastern three to two with two outs at the top of the ninth inning there. First of two today for those two. Jack Kroom, a hit shy of 200. He's one for three today. Takes a pitch low and away, one ball and no strikes. Four runs, nine hits, no errors for UNCW. Three runs, 12 hits, and no errors for Elon. Pascarelli, the lefty, to the plate. Breaking ball is hit foul and out of play. One ball, one strike to count to Kroom. RBI single to right field back in the first inning. No runs since the third for UNCW. Only three hits since that third inning. Runners on the corners. Throw goes to first base, back safely is Arndt. Thatch at third, Arndt at first. That curve ball hit foul left side. Out of play, one ball, two strikes. That thing over the top just drops off the table. One ball, two strikes with one out. Runners on the corners in the eighth. The pitch, high. And misses the fastball there. Two balls and two strikes. Two, two away, too much. Oh, Pascarelli thought it was strike three. Didn't get the call from Richard Riley. He was about to walk around the mound. Final score now, Hofstra beats Northeastern 3-2. to two. So Northeastern, the top pick in the preseason poll, loses their first game out. All five of those runs were scored in the first inning of that game. Low and away and a walk to Kroom to load the bases and bring up uh, Kevin Jones. Here's a big chance now for UNCW with one out. Got to get at least one of these runners home. Kevin Jones has struggled. A couple of strikeouts and a fly out today. And Mike Kennedy heads out there, and it looks like that will be it for uh, Pascarelli. Uh, so another Pepsi pitching change here for the Phoenix. Bases loaded, one out, bottom of the eighth inning. UNCW leads it 4-3, to three, looking for some insurance runs when we return here to Flow Sports at 95.9 The Breeze. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. All-Star Flags is the Cape Fear source for all of your flag-related needs with high-quality American-made flags and poles. We also specialize in custom flags and banners, including the championship banners hanging within Trask Coliseum. All-Star Flags offers pole service installation on flagpoles, both residential and commercial. Visit our showroom and browse through our selection of U.S., state, military, sports, and international flags. Or check us out online at allstarflags.com. All-Star Flags, quality in every star. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. And now enjoy breakfast till noon every day. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. <laughs> Bases loaded, one out. Bottom of the eighth inning, Seahawks up four to three. Hudson Narkey takes over on the mound here for Elon. His seventh appearance, six from the bullpen. No record of 3.46 ERA. 13 innings, 12 hits, 11 runs with five earned, 12 strikeouts and 10 walks. May have Romley Thornton pinch hitting here as uh, Tabor Mongero goes over the scout report of Narky. It is Thatch at third base, Art at second, Kroom at first base after the walk to load the bases, one out. Narky out of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, 28 miles northwest of Philadelphia. 
home of Bike Piazza. Oh, there you go. Also, the horror film The Blob was filmed there, part of it. (laughs) Well, it's going to be Jones stays in this game here. So Kevin Jones, no pinch hitter, 0 for 3, two strikeouts and a fly out. Base is loaded. UNCW up a run. Narky the righty against the right-handed hitting Jones. First pitch. That's going to be a base hit to left field. The first pitch he sees. Thatch home. Behind him coming in to score is Art. And the Seahawks get two on the single from Jones. And they extend their lead up now 6-3 to three in the bottom of the eighth inning. Huge, huge there from Kevin Jones. Jumped on the first pitch, figuring the reliever is going to throw a fastball. He does. Takes it to left field, and yep, Seahawks get the two runs. That's a huge three-run cushion now. Kroom at second base. Novobilski takes first pitch for a strike. So runners at first and second, one out. Some insurance for UNCW. Markey to the plate low, one and one. Two runs, three hits, just like in the first and third innings for UNCW. That misses. That was low as well, two and one. Novobilski, 0 for three today. Strikeout, ground out, and a line out his last time up in the sixth inning. Bottom of the eighth, UNCW leads 6-3. to three. The pitch catches the outside corner. Now two balls, two strikes. Narky, fourth pitcher today, the third this inning. Two-two breaking ball is lifted to right, going back is Granitel, the warning track, the wall, that's gone! Novobilski is first home run for UNCW, a three-run home run, and the Seahawks break open this game in the bottom of the eighth, up nine to three. It came in at 77, turned around at 95, and traveled 364 feet. The first home run in a career here for UNCW's Kevin Novobilski. Watch the replay as soon as he hit it. Everybody thought it might go out the right fielder. Granatel goes as far as he can to the wall, and it goes over the top. Seahawks now in a comfortable position of 9-3. A five spot and a bunt for Jason Art. Narky couldn't get off the mound. He stumbled, and that'll be a bunt for a base hit for Art. Fifth hit of the inning to go along with the five runs now for UNCW. Boy, what a reply here from UNCW in the bottom of the eighth after Elon had tightened it up to four to three. John Newton top of the lineup, one out, one on. And the pitch, chop foul, third base side. Yeah, Elon, the bases loaded in the top half of this inning. And the strike out of Granitel by Luke Craig. Set us to the bottom of the eighth. The Seahawks coming up big here. Throw to first base back safely is Arndt. Five runs, five hits. Nine to three UNCW. Narky misses inside. One ball, one strike. Jason Arndt, one for one in stolen bases. Throw to first base. Arndt back safely. A little bit of sun out from behind the clouds after we had rain earlier. Throw to first base. Close over there. Arndt back safely. This one hits him. He is hurting. He gets down the 
Randy Hood will come out, the trainer as well. Mm. It's Tyler Hot, the athletic trainer. Take a look at Newton. Nine to three, UNCW here in the eighth inning. Again, turned over on his back. And Taking a look at him. Chris Moore, third base coach, comes in as well. Big inning here for UNCW, though. Novobilski, the three-run home run to right field. The big hit right now for the Seahawks. His first as a Seahawk, the transfer from Stockton University in New Jersey. They get Newton to his feet, and he will run down to first base. Does need a helmet here. That's just, I mean. Well, he's going to hit there and then have yeah. this game, it looks like. so. Uh, he's coming up. It'll be Dylan Schaefer taking his place at first base. So, able to make it a first and again off the field is John Newton. Just don't want to see that, but thank God for batting helmets. Hopefully he'll be okay, but. So Randy Hood talking with the home plate umpire, Richard Riley. So again, it's Dylan Schaefer running for him. We'll see if. Schaefer or uh, Will Tyrell may go into left field defensively. As they continue to tend to John Newton in that dugout, I'm sure. One out, runners at first and second here in the eighth inning. Yeah, as we said, just, I mean, a great response by UNCW. Getting the five runs home, it's still only one out, so. Could add even more here. Eighth man up this inning. Actually, the ninth man is uh, Trevor Marsh in the first pitch low. Marsh one for four, a double to right center in the third inning for him, his lone hit. And this could be his second hit to left field. They send in Jason Art. And he'll score from second base, sixth run of the inning, 10th run of the ball game, up 10 to three. Sixth hit of this inning for UNCW as well. Well, we had mentioned uh, after the early uh, success UNCW had, just weren't getting the hits, but boy, they are exploding here in the uh, bottom of the eighth inning now with a seven run lead. They have batted around DiMartino who led off with a fly out to right field. Will bat for a second time in this eighth inning. Only one out, runners at first and second. The ball gets away from the catcher. Yovino all the way back to the on-deck circle. Schaefer fell down, rounding third, has to dive back. But a wild pitch puts two in scoring position now for UNCW. Yeah, Schaefer would have easily scored, I think, there as the catcher. Yovino had trouble picking it up. But falling down, coming around third base, had to go back. Boy, uh, they're going to come out and talk. I mean, there's nobody uh, throwing now. You're down 10 to three, but Hudson, Narky is struggling out there for Elon. Six runs, six hits. Again, you'll go to the top of the ninth after this, three, four, and five. Sprock, Paradine, and Offshack. As we see uh, Jamie Serber, the pitching coach for the first time. Said nobody else warming up. Now a 10 3 ball game, yeah. bottom of the eighth inning, two more games this weekend. It's kind of want to stick with Narky here to try to get through the rest of this inning if you can. But one ball, no strikes, runners in scoring position for DiMartino. Two hits today for the redshirt sophomore. Drove in a run, scored twice. Schaefer at third, Marsh at second, the pitch low. Two balls, no strikes. 
Well, a righty starts to get up and starts to warm up now. Kristen Corcoran, the uh, righty sidewinder, and the uh, base hits a right field for DiMartino. Will score at least one more, maybe two. It will be two. No throw home. Two runs in, the single for Alec DiMartino, now 12 to 3, UNCW. All right, if I'm Randy Hood, I tell the players you might want to save a few of these for maybe the rest of the weekend. I mean, it's a heck of an inning. Unbelievable. Eight-run inning for UNCW. Thatch. And he's got a base hit through the hole on the right side. And going first to third is DiMartino. Another Seahawk hit. Runners on the corners. Yeah, that, that's that's going to do it. I mean, I was they were, they were trying to stick with Narky, but he is just getting hit by everybody, so they're going to have to take him out. So that is it for Narky in the inning for the Seahawks. Eight runs, eight hits, still just one out here in the bottom of the eighth inning, a breakout inning for the Seahawks, who lead it 12-3. Back with a finish of the inning after this on Flow Sports and 95.9 The Breeze. Experience what coastal living is all about in a Carolina skiff from Marine Warehouse. The high output, lightweight Suzuki outboards are the perfect match. From fishing to cruising, in four inches of water to 4,000 feet, Carolina skiff boats are at home everywhere, especially when paired with the reliable, powerful Suzuki four-stroke outboard. As things are taking longer to get, order your Carolina skiff and Suzuki outboard today. Visit Marine Warehouse Center on Market Street or marinewarehousecenter.com. Be your best self with a membership to Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness's goals for members is to feel fit-tacular through exceptional PF member experiences. For just 33 cents a day, that's $10 a month, you'll build both fitness and relationships. The Wilmington area has three locations, including one close to campus on Kerr Avenue and also one in Shalope. Let Planet Fitness make you a better you and have a little fun along the way. Check out Planet Fitness at planetfitness.com. Tristan Corcoran takes over on the mound. Fourth appearance, no record of 5.4 ERA. Redshirt Jr. celebrating a birthday here today. So uh, happy birthday, Tristan. I'm, I'm sure the coaches hoping that he can get through this inning here. Dad played at Widener. Older brother, Billy, played baseball at Pitts. His dad played basketball at Widener, so athletic family, athletic background. Belmont Park, Pennsylvania, another guy close to that Philadelphia area out of Malvern Prep. <laughs> you just need to just say they all are. Brian Art with runners on the corners here, only one out in the inning. From the side, it's fouled off. And out of play by Art, two hits, two for four. Corcoran at 6-2, but then drops down to the side for the, the righty. Oh, one, swing and a miss. Nothing in two. Breaking ball there from Corcoran. Again, one out, eight runs in on eight hits this inning. 12 to three, UNCW in the eighth. Pops it over the grandstand on that breaking ball, and it's nothing in two. First batter flew out, then single, single, walk, single, homer, single, hit by pitch, single, single. Backbreaker, the home run for Kevin Novobilski. 0-2. Oh, That's line foul. Then a left field line. It'll stay nothing in two. Trace Baker warming in the bullpen for UNCW for the ninth. Pops up this one coming our way. Ooh, right on top. Man. Could have made a play possibly, Mike. Would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> no balls, two strikes. <laughs> Not today. 
Not today. He'll hold off. 0-2 again. Ground ball down to third to second for one. Can they turn two? Bounced over there. Safe at first is Art. So the 13th run comes in to score with DiMartino from third base. They only force out Thatch at second. Ninth run of the inning for UNCW. 13-3 our score. Jack Kroom, one for three, a walk and a run scored last time up. First pitch takes strike one. The shift to the right side of the infield. 0-1 ground ball foul up the first baseline. No balls, two strikes to Jack Kroom. O2 check to swing and will strike out to end the inning. But what an inning for UNCW. Nine runs, eight hits, no errors, one man left on base. The Seahawks have broken this game wide open as we go to the top of the ninth. 13 to three, our score, Seahawks out ahead on Flow Sports and the Breeze. There is something indescribably special about this place, the way it looks, the way it feels, the way we care for one another and our community. The University of North Carolina Wilmington is like no other. Your journey starts here. We invite you to discover what makes UNCW like no other. This is where everything starts. It's a place of new beginnings, new opportunities, and a new identity. We are the Coastal Athletic Association, and from the beaches to the city streets, we are united to succeed at an elite level in competition, in our communities, in our lives. This is the tide that lifts us, the fire that burns inside all of us. This is our moment, our new chapter. We are the CAA, and we are united in excellence. Top of the ninth inning, UNCW leads it 13 to three with a nine run up bottom half of the eighth inning. Some changes defensively, Jason Art moves from second base to left field. Dylan Schaefer at second base defensively and Trace Baker on the mound now for UNCW. Baker, his eighth appearance, no record, a 9.39 ERA. Seven and two thirds innings, 10 hits, eight runs all earned, eight strikeouts and nine walks. So it started with Sales. RJ Sales, five and two thirds, two runs, nine hits. Connor Kane, an inning and two thirds. He up a run on three hits. Luke Craig, two thirds of an inning and a huge strikeout with the bases loaded. That was uh, in the eighth inning. Maybe partly the the play of the day here for UNCW struck out Granatel in a lengthy at bat, a nine pitch at bat. And now Baker comes in trying to close it out. Ryan Sprock designated hitter. One for four today. Ground ball down to third, backhanded by Kroom over to first base. One pitch, one out. Made it look easy, it was not. Jack Kroom outstanding at third base. And brings up the first baseman, Shane at Paradigm. Paradigm, two hits today. Well, UNCW was getting out hit in this game until the eight run inning. Fly ball to left, coming in. Jason Arn on the run. Two pitches, two outs. Third base number 25. Not bad. How about a third, <laughs> third ball to get this one over? 13-3. UNCW leads by 10. Connor Offshack. 
two for four, double to right center his last time up. And the pitch, fly ball to right field, right to Martino. a three-pitch inning to end this ball game in the ninth. 13-3 final score, UNCW gets the win. And they are now on the season 12-10, 1-0 in league play. Elon, 9-12, 0-1. Well, even without that inning, the Seahawks win this game, but a nine-run eighth inning certainly gave the Seahawks a breathing room they wanted to see. 13-3, your final score. We'll take a break back with our Walk-Ons Clubhouse report when we return here to Brooksfield in Wilmington, North Carolina. Again, your final score, UNCW 13, Elon 3, right here on Flow Sports and the Breeze. Unlock your career potential with the Cameron School of Business at UNCW. Our flexible graduate programs offer rolling admissions, applied learning opportunities, and tailored career support. Whether you're interested in our master's program in business analytics, finance, supply chain management, accountancy, computer science and information systems, or our highly regarded MBA program, we have the right degree for you. Apply today. Hampton Inn University and Hampton Inn Suites Landfall Park are proud UNCW Seahawks sponsor. Award-winning hotels providing rooms, suites, catering, and meeting rooms. Ask for the Seahawks special. Call 910-399-9006. That's 910-399-9006. Hamptonin.com and support the Seahawks. It's bow time. What's that? The Bojangler from Bojangles. The same bold flavor as their chicken? The same. And fries? The same. Ooh, not the same. The Bojangler's back. Hook one while you can. It's bow time. Okay. I'm just being myself. Cool as can be. It's so easy. Get out your own. Hi, my name is Dr. Claude Jarrett with Wilmington Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine here on UNCW's campus for your medical minute. Here in Wilmington, we're lucky enough to have the ability to enjoy a lot of outdoor sports and activities, such as our lovely beaches. One of the more common injuries that we see this time of year are biceps tendon ruptures. The bicep tendon rupture is typically with eccentric load with heavy lifting by flexing the elbow. One of the best ways to prevent this type of injury is make sure you're lifting in a correct manner using more legs, less arms. With Wilmington Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, our job is to help patients avoid long lines and expensive cost of the emergency room. We're able to tackle many orthopedic injuries, such as acute traumas, fractures, and sprains. At Pawn USA, we buy, sell, trade, and loan money on almost anything. Buying? Come check out our amazing inventory at our five convenient locations. Selling? We can give you cash or a loan for your items on the spot. Find the Pawn USA nearest you in Wallace, Shalotte, Leland, and in Wilmington, and we'll work with you for an enjoyable and beneficial experience. Ask about our free layaway plan and check us out at PawnUSA.net and on eBay. There's always a new find at Pawn USA. Hi, I'm Morgan Matthews. Check out Matthews Motors in Wilmington. We have lots of inventory with easy online shopping on the new website, a home test drive and delivery program, a certified pre-owned warranty program, lifetime powertrain warranties, a new truck center, and ASE certified technicians that will keep you on the road. We are family owned and operated, so come check us out and become a member of the Matthews Motors family today. It's bow time. <laughs> Hurry in the Bojangles for two scratch-made sizzling sausage biscuits for just four bucks. One bite, and you'll want breakfast for dinner. Good thing we serve savory sausage biscuits all day. But this two-for-four deal won't last forever. It's bow time. <laughs> I'm just being myself, cool as can be. It's so easy. Get out your own Conference play underway for UNCW with the win, and a big one at that. 13-3, your final score. UNCW breaks it open with a nine-run eighth inning and wins this game. 
wasn't as easy as the final score will indicate. Mike McCaro back here with uh, Jim Whitmire, our Walk-On's Clubhouse Report, Walk-On Sports Bistro. Game day with a taste of Louisiana located at 3710 Oleander Drive. Walk-On's the post-game destination of the Seahawks. And uh, again, a tight ball game here. UNCW Jim scores early in this game with two runs in the first, two in the third. It was a 4-1 ball game there, but UNCW would not score again until the eighth inning. And that tells you they're, they're pitching. The starter sales was good. Kane, Craig, Baker ended it up well there with three pitches to get three outs. Uh, I mean, everything, all phases came together for UNCW to get a win in their first conference game of the season. Yeah, it wasn't like uh, Elon didn't have chances. They left 11 on base a couple of times with the bases loaded. So it was up to those pitchers, the relief pitchers, to do the job at times and hold the lead for UNCW. And then, as you said, Everything just opened up there in the uh, bottom of the eighth. I mean, that's one of those innings you'll you just love as a coach. But uh, when you score nine runs, that's pretty good. But yeah, you got to give it to the pitching staff. They did their job. The hitters got going. Hopefully, that's a good sign. They can keep that going for the weekend series because, of course, as you mentioned, being the first series.